vision of Isaiah, son of Amos, and she saw it concerning Judah and Jerusalem, in the days of Isaiah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, <coughs> kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear. O earth, for Hashem has spoken, children, have I raised and exalted, they have rebelled against me. An ox knows his owner, and a donkey is master's job. But Israel does not know, and the people does not comprehend. Whoa, they are a sinful nation, the people weighed down by iniquity. Evil offspring, destructive children, they have forsaken El Shaddai. They have angered the Holy One of Israel and turned their back to him. For what have you smitten, since you continue to act perversely? Each head is smitten with sickness, and each heart with infirmity. From the sole of the foot to the head, nothing in the is whole. Only injury, bruise, and festering wounds. They have not been treated, and they have not been bandaged, and the wound has not been softened with oil. Their country is desolate, their cities are burned with fire. As for your land, strangers consume its yield in your present. It is desolate, because it is overturned by foreigners. The daughter of Zion is left like a brute in a vineyard, like a shed in a field of gorge, like a city besieged. Had not Rehoboth, master of losers, left us a trace of the women, we would have been like Sodom, and we have resembled the Moab. Hear the word of Hashem, O chiefs of Sodom, the ear to the teaching of our God, O people of the Moab. Why do I need your human sacrifices to the world tonight? I am seated with elevation, offerings of rams and the fat of fountains, the blood of gold, sheep and goats, I do not desire. But you come to appear before me, who sought this from your hand, to trample my cords, and bring your worthless meal offering no longer. It is incense and abomination to me. As for the new moon and Sabbath, and your calling and convocation, I cannot abide in audacity with solemn assembly. My soul detests your new moons in your appointed time. They have become a burden upon me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. And if you were to intensify your prayer, I will not listen. Your hands are will clean with blood. Wash yourselves, purify yourselves, remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Vindicate the victim. Render justice to the orphan. Take up the grievance of the widow. Come now. Let us reason together, says Jehovah. If your sins are like scarlet, they will become white as snow. If they have become red as crimson, they will become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you will eat the goodness of the land. But if you refuse to rebel, you will be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of Jehovah has spoken. How beautiful, how faithful the city has become a harlot. She has been full of justice. Righteousness lodged in but now literally, their silver has become gold. Your silver has become dross, and your heavy wine diluted with water. Your princes are rebellious, and associates of thieves. Each of them loves bribery and receives payment. You do not render justice to the orphan. The grievance of the widow does not come to him. Therefore, the word of the Lord, Jehovah, Master of Legion, Mighty One of Israel, Oh, I shall be the lead of my adversaries, and I shall avenge myself of my enemies. I will turn my hand against you until I refine your jaws as the blood, and I will remove your face from you. And I will restore your judges as the first, and your counsel as at the beginning. After that, you will be called City of Righteousness, Faithful City. Zion will be redeemed through justice, and those who return to her through righteousness. The calamity awaits rebels and sinners. Together, and those who forsake, Hashem will perish, for they will become ashamed of the idolatrous elms that you choose. For you will be like an elm tree with withered leaves, and like a garden without water. 
the mighty will be like flax, and its maker like a spark. And the two of them will turn together, and no one to extinguish it. May the word of the Lord, whose name is word is magnified above his name, be heard by the people of Israel. Isaiah responded, Hear now, O house of David, is it not for you, scorn human prophets, that ye scorn even my God? Therefore, my Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the young woman will become pregnant and bear a son, and you will name him Emmanuel. For a child has been born to us, a son has been given to us. And the dominion will rest on his shoulder, the wondrous advisor, mighty God, eternal fire, Father, upon his name, Sar Shalom, Prince of Peace, upon the one with the greatness of dominion, and the boundless peace that will prevail, on the throne of David, and on his kingdom to establish it, and sustain it, through justice and righteousness, from now to eternity, in zealousness of Jehovah, Master of Jesus, will accomplish this. And now, says Yehovah, your creator, O Jacob, the one who fashioned you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through water, I am with you. Through rivers, they will not wash you away. When you walk through fire, you will not be singed, and no flame will burn you. For I am Hashem, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt your ransom and Cush and Seba in your place. Because you were precious in my eyes, you were honored and I love you. I put people in your place and machines in place of your soul. Thus said, Elohim, King of Israel, and its Redeemer, Yehovah, Master of Legions, I am the first and I am the last. Beside me, there is no God. Whoever will declare that he is like me, let him proclaim it, and set forth all the events, since I have placed the people of the nation, and yet set forth all the coming events, but it's yet to happen. Be not afraid, but be not terrified. Can I not make you hear of your and tell you, you are my witnesses? Is there a God besides me? There is no rock I do not know. Open up it and read it. Behold, my servant will succeed. He will be exalted and become high and exceedingly lofty. Just as multitudes were astonished before you, saying, His appearance is too large to be a man's and his visage to be human. So will the many nations exclaim about him, and kings will shut their mouths in amazement, for they will see that which had never been told to them, and will perceive things they have never heard. Who will believe what we have heard? For who has the arm of Jehovah been revealed? Formerly he grew like a sapling, or like a root from Erica. He had neither form nor hands, and we saw him, but without such visage that we could desire him. He was 